Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite annoying YouTuber, Wada Maya, right wow. here with three amazing, beautiful YouTubers. Are you all YouTubers? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Filmmaker. Uh, I like to go by filmmaker. <laughs> Storyteller. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Vanessa Canby. I, um, I was born and raised in Scotland and my dad's from Ghana. So I'm Scottish Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. My name is Marintia. I'm also a YouTuber, storyteller, whichever way you want to take it. Okay. My name is Anna Chambu. I've just started this journey. Okay. But I consider myself a YouTuber now. Yes, yes, I do. And um, where are you from? Um, I'm half Ghanaian, half Dutch. Okay, so my name is Wadamaya. I'm half Accra, half Takra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for honoring my invitation because I have something on my mind today. I got so many messages from Interracia, I mean, Kate, you guys are no longer Kate here, yeah? but uh, <laughs> Interracia Kate <laughs> telling me that they really want to come back to Africa, but I don't know whether people are really going to accept them. Okay. Mm. Vanessa, I'm going to start from you. Vanessa, my question is do you call yourself as a black woman or as what? Black woman or what? I call myself mixed race. Although now it's like controversial and people are saying you shouldn't say you're mixed because nothing mixes. Um, but because my mum is from Scotland and she is white, my dad is from Ghana, he's black. If I said I was black, then obviously I'm disregarding the fact that, you know, my mum is white, in my opinion. Um, although some people seem say I'm black because I'm dark. I mean, in, in Scotland, people are more likely to say I'm black than anything else. They're more likely to say I'm black than I'm mixed race, for example. But I just say I'm mixed race because I know that also a lot of black people are offended if you say you're black and you've got white in you. So I just stick to what it is, really. What about you? Um, it's difficult because I can't pick one, like she said. Because you can't just say you're one race when you clearly have a parent from a whole other place. Mm -hmm. But I will definitely say you can relate to one half more, depending on how much time you spend, depending, you know. I've spent more time in Ghana, I've grown up in Ghana. So even though I'm both and I like both, depending on which part of my life I'm in, I relate to one more. But I would definitely say growing up here, I relate more to being Ghanaian than Japanese. Than Japanese. Yeah. What about you? Well, for me, I identify as black because I was raised in the Netherlands and they will always make me know that I'm not white. So I identify as a black woman, but coming to Ghana, I feel very white. <laughs> <laughs> so that's difficult, that's different, how, yeah. How white do you feel in Ghana? Well, they, they always call me Bruni to, mm. to start with. And, and then, then because, because maybe, maybe uh, my aunt... Uh, like, when, um, when I came here, she said I needed to come to your house and greet her and all that, but I was busy, so I did that a little later. Mm -hmm. And then she says, well, that's not custom, but okay, you're white, so I'll leave you wow. to that. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. You know, I, I just want to know, yeah, the struggles being a mixed race, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I just want to know, because I, I've interviewed a young kid who never felt like, okay, why are my own Chinese people treating me this way? Because this lady, this small girl grew up in China, you know, and she felt like she's not wanted in China. So I met this girl and she even wanted to go home with me because she felt like, oh, I've seen one of my own. Yeah. I just want to know, do all of you feel that way when we're growing up or something like that? Yeah. Yes, for me, yes. For you, yes, how? Because they will always make you know that you're not one of them. Like, growing up in the Netherlands, I was in a very wide school and there were even incidents when one kid pushed my head to the ground to see like the difference of the skin color and he would always say oh wow. you you can't play with us because you're black or you can't play with us because your hair is curly or we have this very racial uh racist festive festival or festivity where it's like santa claus and they call it santa claus where santa claus has black helpers who are very jolly bubbly and very stupid to be honest and then they will always say that oh now it's time to celebrate. You don't have to color your face because as a black person, they color so their face. Bad. Or they say, oh, wow. you have curly hair already. You don't need a hat. And so, yeah, I was always know, being known that you are black each and every day. They would, somebody would tell me that, yes, you are black. Yeah. I feel like I, I don't... I mean, I definitely have 
most racist experiences, but they yeah. weren't as direct as yours. Yeah. You know, people weren't literally telling me every day. I mean, when I was maybe seven, somebody said I looked like poo, but it was like really? a kid. Like, you know, they were maybe five. Yeah, it was a child. It right? was a yeah. child. I mean, I was a child. Yeah. Yeah. So like from then I knew, but before that, obviously everyone was white. Everyone apart from my dad, who I saw every day, but you, I feel like you don't see like, the colour of your parents yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. and then my sister obviously is the same as me but apart from that every all my friends at school were white so like I never looked in the mirror when I was a kid so I just presumed I was just like them and then I remember we were doing a colouring like exercise mm. and I was looked at my skin and I was like I'm not that peach that they're calling skin colour yeah. you know yeah. and then I tried to mix white and black and it made grey and I was like, well, that's not me either. <laughs> but I feel wow. like as a mixed race person, it's a completely different experience from being black, in my opinion, because yeah. when you're black, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but obviously, I don't know if everyone feels like this, if you guys feel like this, but I feel like you're not torn, but it's difficult sometimes to know exactly where you stand. I think it's very difficult. It's yeah, very difficult. 100%. Yeah. I always said, like, when I was younger, because I have quite a number of biracial friends, both Japanese and Ghanaian. Mm. So when we were, like, kids, I used to say we should just get an island and fill it with Japanese oh. Ghanaian people because we're very angry. Well, we're annoyed because when you go to Japan, you're black. Yeah. So then you're a foreigner there. You come back to Ghana, then you're, like, Chinese. I'm not even Chinese, but you're Chinese automatically if you're Asian. Okay. So, like, when you're a kid, it affects you more. Like, now when I get called a brownie, it's like, ah. You know, it's normal. It, it comes and goes, especially yeah. once you talk to them, they see you have a Ghanaian accent, you can communicate with them, then they're like, oh, she's one of us. Mm -hmm. But then when you're a kid and someone calls you a Bruni and they're not calling the other kids a Bruni, mm -hmm. then it affects you more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I've never had an experience as intense as yours, I would say, like even living in Japan. You know, um, personally, I'm just going to say this. If I meet you mm -hmm. in town, I will never know that you are not one of us. I think we should do this experiment. I wish we can get some people around here. Yo, c can you, can you, can you come? Come, come. You, you can come, come together. It's okay. Feel free. You, you all should come. Look at this woman, yeah? And tell me where you think she's from. Mm, she's definitely a mistress. Definitely a mistress. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, what about her? Yeah, if I see her, I would say she's Chinese. Oh, Ni Hao? <laughs> Leave her. No, don't go. One minute. One minute. No, 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 no. Ma'am, call me. One minute. Just one minute. What about her? Yeah, I see her as uh, someone from Ethiopia. Ethiopia. You're from Ethiopia. I've never heard that before. S sister, bra, 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 bra. Yeah, minka brofana minka chi. Okay, hi. My name is Maya, yeah? My name is Dora. Dora, look at this beautiful lady and tell me where you think she's from. <laughs> it's okay. No, feel free. Just say anything you want to say. Utopia. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. What, what about her? <laughs> what about her? Well, she, you, you know her. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what about her? America. You are from America? Wow. Hey. Oh, wow. okay. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You see, so this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. We have African women that are light skinned. Yeah, when I see a light-skinned lady and seeing you, I don't think there's any difference. I mean, Vanessa, if I don't know you, I would definitely know that, oh, that, that my ex-girlfriend, that was like, guy skin color, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, I, I believe that it's time. Maybe you guys can claim being an African woman. Yeah. Or you don't, or you don't think so? The I mean, more I definitely, like, personally, if someone asks me, are you Ghanaian, I would say yes. Mm. But it's, I guess it's a matter of other people. For them, they can think what they want, in my opinion. Let's talk about because I'm doing this video based on the uh, messages that I've been getting from mixed race people who are trying to move to Africa. Yeah. They're asking me, are they going to be welcome? Are people going to accept them? Uh, are we going to feel like you people are one of our own? So I want to know, like, do you guys feel at home in here? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Like, yes. I feel more at home here yeah. than I do in Scotland. Yeah. And I was born and raised there. And I've never lived here. <laughs> so, you know, I've just come yeah. for visits. Um, but people, it might also just be the people are so warm, welcoming, and yeah. just, like, different from, from like, the UK. Uh, people will talk to you on the street. They speak their mind. I just really like that mm. um, and also 
I don't know. I just feel like, I guess in the UK, I'm obviously like darker, so <laughs> nobody's gonna think I'm white. So here, I just feel more at home. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You agree, yeah? So, I, I, for me, I want to say thank you so much for talking to me, but you guys are not going anywhere. Um, one more question, yeah? I got Africans in the diaspora who have some kind of hate. I don't know if you guys have received this kind of hate from people in the diaspora. I mean, Africans, you can talk about African Americans. I mean, Africans that were born out of Africa, that they have so much hate for interracial kids and even interracial couple. Yes. Do you guys have. Yes. You've got that hate before. Yes, yes. You feel like don't call yourself an African. Don't they, call yourself. They're saying that why? Why did I marry Kevin? Why didn't I marry a black person? Okay. I could have rather have black kids or crazy mm. stuff like that. Yeah, I get those messages. You, you also get those yeah. messages. Every day, people <laughs> like go back to where you came from. I'm what? Like, Hang on a second, right? You were born so in Scotland. So my dad, yeah, I was born in Scotland. My my dad's Ghanaian. So where you know what I mean? Yeah, why can yeah. I not be here? Yeah. Um, but that's not going to end saying that, you know what I mean? It's not, mm. it's definitely not people from Ghana. Yeah. Um, it's people from, from the diaspora and they also, just a lot of them don't, don't believe in it. Don't you think that our parents never knew all these things? Because, you know, when I was growing up, yeah, what I know is that when you travel out there and you bring a white woman or maybe an Asian woman to the house, they praise you. Yeah for coming home with, hey, uh, the guy has made it in life. He came with a white woman or, yes. it, th that's, that's our culture. So I don't think people should blame our parents for that. Or but I think it's, you know, I think they're a little bit lost, you know? Those Africans born or raised outside, mm. when they come home and they <laughs> learn about the culture and all that, they'll forget the mindset. But I think all that what happened in slavery or whatever, Maybe it's still in them, and that's why they hang on to their blackness so much, and they only want to date black or think that everything black is only the best. But we are all people. I mean, we all bleed the same blood. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. if you mix your your heritage with another heritage. I think it's only beautiful. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and I don't know if like you experience this, but when you live in the U.S., African Americans don't really interact with African people mm. and it's really it's the weirdest thing to me there. because oh really it's yeah. like the weirdest thing to me because you're already a minority mm -hmm. as they say right being a black person but within that black community how can you not get along when you're both yeah exactly so that's weird, but then color. in the school and in every like state African Americans and Africans they're quite separate Mm. They don't get along that well. So. Leave a comment. Leave a comment and let me know whatever what she's saying is true. I have never been there, but um, I've had that experience way back mm. in China where I had a, an African American classmate mm. and I called him an African, and he nearly beat me that day. You know, that oh, was my yeah, first time. Yeah. yeah, he nearly beat me for calling him an African. Yeah. He's like, never wow. call me an African. Yeah. And that was my first video that I did. What Africans think of African American and vice versa is because of that experience. So you telling yeah. me this? I mean, I've heard it before but i never knew that it's real so mm -hmm. thanks yeah. for telling me so leave a comment if something like that is really happening um your final messages before we leave here thanks for day for being such a ah, yeah. you know? <laughs> maya for president oh women president yeah women <laughs> president okay mm -hmm. <laughs> you can drink to that yeah. Yeah. No, but on a serious note i think that um whatever your skin color is mm. if you have any blackness in you just come and try stay in ghana just even, yeah. even if it's for two days or it doesn't have to be ghana but just come to africa and experience africa i think that's the best thing for anyone black yeah. yeah. Have, okay. I would say that like I have friends that are half Japanese, half Ghanaian that never grew up in Ghana, so they don't know anything about Ghana. And I will say, from people that have lived here, not lived here, growing up here definitely gives you an entire different experience of feeling at home. Wow. Like you will never get that, even being half Japanese living in Japan. There's just something about camaraderie in Ghana that you just won't get anywhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I feel like even if you come to visit, you know, like I came ever since I was two years old, my parents two cars every second year then when I was 16 I would come for like a month every year on my own so I think even if you didn't grow up here and you're older like you can definitely still make that effort yeah. you know and come and experience it and try it mm -hmm. I, I really wanted to school in Ghana 
I really? begged my dad so many I, I, times, I my mom but he well. said, hell no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> wow. I didn't do all this money to put you in school in the Netherlands, you come and spill it in Ghana. Because they have a different mm. mindset. So they think the outside is it's better. better. That's what our parents think. And, and now you're here, do you think outside is better or home is better? I think Ghana's better. My kids are schooling here, they're so happy. So happy. So. Maybe if you're of that age, try and come and stay in Ghana. Yeah. And don't forget that all of them have a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave their link in the description. Please subscribe to all of them with the exception of Vanessa. Thank you so much for <laughs> no. watching. I'll see you next time. You just doesn't want me to beat him on the subscribers. I'm joking. That is zero at the end of mine. <laughs>